Do you remember that big maple burl slab table we built? Well, we built some benches to go with it. With all of this self-quarantining, it has me missing making furniture with friends. This is a story about that. After the log was slabbed and dried and made into a table by my friend Jordan and I, we were left with some offcuts of the maple and walnut. I started by breaking down the slab into roughly square leg stock. I ripped a straight edge on the walnut, then took it to the table saw. While I was ripping the leg stock, Jordan would take them over to the jointer and joint two faces. We would mark the jointed faces to help keep track of them. Then over at the planer, we could plane the opposite faces down to our final leg stock dimensions. I'm a pretty visual person, so when it comes to laying out the parts of a bench like this, I like to make scale drawings to help me get my angles to look pleasing to the eye, but also to stabilize the bench. It's nice working with friends. As I laid everything out, I could give Jordan the measurements off the drawing and he could cut the parts to length. You think you got it right? Then, as he would cut the parts, I could install a dado stack in the table saw. I have found the key to tight fitting joinery is repeatability, so I like to cut all of the parts that are the same at the same time using a stop block. And once I get my dado stack really, really close, I use playing cards to shim up the workpiece if I need to rather than fooling with the blade height. Jordan actually reminded me of this trick. A deck of playing cards in the shop is invaluable. I use them all the time for all kinds of things. I highly recommend you keep one in your shop. Even with repeatability, there can still be variables that can cause a too tight fit, like sawdust between the workpiece and the stop block. This is where a very sharp hand plane comes in handy to finesse the joint. Still gonna build a guitar. I also miss having someone else in the shop because I don't get to laugh as much. Not only did having two people in the shop make us more productive physically, but the camaraderie made me more productive mentally and in a better state of mind. Not to mention the collaborative aspect of having two furniture makers look at the same piece of wood and discuss the visual weight of a piece before cutting it up.
After sanding the tops and the bases up through the grits, Jordan and I applied the same monocoat finish we applied to the top. Once that was dry, we attached the tops and took the longest hour drive to Richmond, which also feels a bit shorter with somebody else in the truck. Then we delivered the table and the benches to the client, and she loved it. I guess what I'm trying to say is, before this COVID pandemic, there were a lot of things I took for granted. After we all get through this, I think we'll all see the world we live in through a slightly different set of eyes. At least, I will. I'm also happy to report that Jordan is the brand new father to a healthy baby boy, who I have yet to meet. Stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, thanks for watching.